Hey there, how y'all doing? This is Weapons Tech Mac coming to you from deep in the heart of Texas. It's kind of hot out here. Uh, we're going through our first 100 degree days, so my garage right now is right up near 90 degrees, so you can hear fans and things like that going in here. Trying to make it somewhat livable. Place is a damn mess because I'm working on various things. Uh, but anyway, today I got a review on this uh, Taurus Millennium uh, One PT140 Pro. Now, I picked this up, actually uh, got it from a friend of mine who's, I think, was, got it from uh, an older member of the family. And this had been kind of gummed up and kept somewhere over the last 20 or 15 years. And they're in pretty gummed up, dusty, gunked up shape. And, so I picked them up and cleaned them up, and, and uh, it's a nice shooter, I'll tell you. So let's make sure it's empty, nothing there. Nothing in there, so it's empty. But uh, hey, it, it comes from about 20 years ago. Uh, it's a 40 Smith & Wesson, and it's kind of the first granddaddy part of the uh, G2 or the G2C line, um, the Millennium line that's continued down through the G3C. Um, polymer striker fired pistol. And what I'll do is I'll go ahead and, and get it on the board or on the, the table here and do a little tabletop on it. And I did take it out in the range a couple of days ago and uh, give it a good good shooting. <laughs> the range was hot. We were outside. About died by the time it was over with, but uh, any day out in the range, even if it's a hot, humid, sweaty one, a good day, I think. But uh, anyway, let's take a look at this uh, old granddaddy of a Taurus. And uh, yeah. Okay, so here she is. You can see that uh, it's got a little bit of holster wear. And uh, but it's still in pretty pretty darn good shape. Um, it's got some good aggressive texturing down here. Again, it's a striker fired pistol. Has a unique uh, sights that are interesting, especially from you know 20 years ago. Um, of course, it has a manual safety, and uh, this is your takedown lever of sorts. It's a rather strange way of taking this thing down. I'm not going to show you that, but I'll kind of do a little breakdown of this guy. Um, this, of course, has the same characteristics of the other Millennium Pro pistols in that it's a 40 Smith & Wesson cartridge. It'll hold up 10 rounds of double stack mag plus one. And uh, it has that single action, double action trigger. I guess you could call it the second strike capability. I always found it probably better just to clear the, the dud round out of there and go from there. But uh, you know, the trigger is kind of interesting. Um, let's see. Of course, this is made by Taurus. The caliber is 40 Smith & Wesson. Capacity is 10 plus 1. The sights are... Uh, they are adjustable and uh, very interesting looking sights. Um, recoil operated, blue steel, polymer frame. Of course, this one's black. Width is an inch and a half wide. No, an inch and, not an inch and a half, 1.125, so an inch and, a, what, an inch and less than a quarter wide. Height is five and a quarter inches. Length is 6.125 long. It's 18.7 ounces empty. The barrel length is three and a quarter inches. Safety is a manual safety. It's only on the left side along with the slide stop and the magazine release. Uh, does have detachable magazine. Um, of course, it's considered a compact pistol. 
we'll kind of compare it with the shield. I've got my performance center shield out here to show you a comparison in size. And I guess you could say it's a little smaller than the, the shield, not by much. Shields is a single stack, whereas this is a double stack. But uh, they're comparable in size. Uh, I guess you could call this a, a, a good EDC if you wanted to. Um, Taurus is a 20 years ago. I'll kind of give you this, I don't know, uh, warning or whatever you want to call it. Uh, quality was suspect. Now, over the last, what, five years or so, quality has definitely taken a, a step ahead. But, uh, you know, I don't know. Uh, so far, I've not had any problems with the rounds I've put it through it. I think I've put about 60 rounds through it without any trouble. But I'll show you that, I'm taking it out shooting. But uh, there's a lot of people that swear by these old Tauruses. But uh, I'll show you taking it out and shooting it, and then uh, we'll do a little wrap here in just a sec. Okay, so we have a Taurus Millennium PT-140 Pro. This sucker's 20 years old. We've reconditioned it. Let's see how she does. Okay, so here's our PT-140 Millennium Pro. Uh, it's a fun gun to shoot. It's not too snappy. You know, 40s have the, the, the characteristic of being kind of a snappy cartridge, but I didn't have any problems with shooting this thing, keeping it on target. It's a fairly accurate pistol. I had no problems with the 40 rounds I put through it at two different shooting sessions. Can I recommend it? I don't know. I really haven't had it long enough to say good, bad, or indifferent on the thing. It, it shot for what I used it for out the range, 40 rounds. I mean, there was no problems. But usually I want to put at least 300 rounds through a gun before I'm starting to gain a little trust in it, okay? Now you've seen me, or may have seen me, uh, and my uh, updates on my, the Taurus G2C. And that my, my Taurus G2C is, is pushing 5,000 rounds with only one screw up. And that could have been me or the ammo or whatever, but uh, um, I don't know, these older Tarses, the, the track record, some of them, you know, I don't know. There are people that swear by these. And so I just want to do a little review. I'm actually putting this on the Texas Gun Trader here a little bit, but uh, I ain't gonna talk about selling it on YouTube, of course. But uh, <clears throat> it's been interesting taking this thing apart, cleaning it up, making it work. And uh, yeah, kind of a blast from the past. So, hey, an interesting uh, older Taurus, and I thought I'd just share that with you. So, y'all have a lovely night. As always, this Weapons Tech Mac coming to you from deep in the heart of Texas. God bless Texas. God bless the United States. And long live the Republic.